and welcome to UK versus Heart of the Heels of the Atlanta Regionals. We're moving to Attack on Titan Origins of Power Reveal Week and we are here to give you an amazing spoiler. But I think it's amazing. I don't know quite how Richard's going to take this. We have different opinions on cards. And it means that it's time to shed the blue of Attack on Titan Battle for Humanity and move into the red of Attack on Titan Origins of Power. I am, as always, joined by Richard. How are you doing? I'm all good, thank you very much. Uh, yeah, excited to show off some new cards in the new set um, and obviously have correct opinions compared to Brett's incorrect opinions, as always. But yeah, just yeah, it's been a, been a good weekend. Obviously, you've been catch up on some of the stream of the Atlanta Regionals. But also, we had a really good demo event at our local store yesterday. We had three people, which is a bit less than expected, but I think all three really enjoyed the, the demo experience and are, are, I think, hopefully keen to sort of join us playing some more and, and turn up some locals. So... That's pretty exciting. And we yeah. can show off our brand new Attack on Titan Origins of Power character. UVS have sent us this. Big shout out to UVS. And of course, they send the British people the royalty. It's just thematic. Mm -hmm. We have Historia Rius, Secret Identity, Queen of the Walls. She is a five-hander with 30 health. Great to see five-handers back now. Life yeah. Order. So she's lost chaos since set one. Loving the key symbol. No longer going to get that confused with the death symbol. We have three abilities. Tenacious Response. After you build a foundation foundation that does not share a name with a card in your stage add one wall counter to this card and gain one health second response after you draw one or more cards this attack gets plus one or minus one damage and enhance remove two wall counters draw a card for a common character i think this is cool i think this is not actually a 500 outside of turn one and i am really excited to actually get hold of this because order has a butt ton of draw power hey she although she is a five hand one face she's not really a five hander right um yeah. Um, and the, the sort of the 30 health sort of gives that away because 30 health would be very low for a five-hander in general. Her adding wall counters is, is going to be reasonably straightforward and especially with it being a tenacious response. Turn one, let's say you build three. As a five-hander, build three is not unreasonable. If they're all three different foundations, you're going to get three wall counters off the rip. Yeah, and if right? one of those and, was faith in the walls, that's another counter. If you're yeah. playing fortify the walls, that's good to start ticking up counters which you can flip to move to Historia. Exactly. Uh, it's unfortunate, like, obviously, you know, she's committed. You can't just sort of build willy-nilly and sort of empty hand and then draw more because you need that enhanced draw cards. But she can sort of overbuild her hand a little bit because she's got the extra ability to draw on either her attacks the opponent's attacks to either get blocks or you know just draw more stuff you know turn one i think is obviously where she suffers the most from being that real five-hander but then as the game goes on she's going to be a very not real five-hander and it's whether you sort of stack them up to almost be a 10 hand on a turn right you know you play five attacks you draw a card on each one you're a, you're a pseudo 10 hander for the turn now as we've seen from set one there's a whole lot of ways of, of generating wall counters from other things whether that's like Wall Maria's might, you know, I think she could probably rack her up pretty quickly. And it being only two to remove to draw a card, it does make her a very not real five hand no. from, from turn one onwards. So, with how easy it is to generate wall counters, it's really great. And with how mm. much draw power these cards have, I mean, if you go into order, you've got draw power through Water Dog, you draw power through Botans, you've got a lot of draw power in her as well through Wall Maria's might. Mm -hmm. I was more for looking at the life symbol and using the kit of Momo 3, where you can yeah. remove a foundation, building a another foundation you got a okay, cool i then get a wall counter gain a health she has got so many options on both these symbols that lead to two different builds it's just so cool to just be able to go okay i'll poke i'll draw a card this gets some damage so yeah we'll drop wild the dog i'll stun you down for one i'll draw one this now becomes a six seven and then i'll draw another card it becomes a six eight using wall counters it just gets really silly and like you're saying she's only a five-hander on turn one and going second if i can build four i get to to draw two cards which means i'm gonna have my defense i need on my second turn as a five-hander yeah that's and i think you've missed probably the card that might be her like outside of water the dog like her favorite card which is probably going to be canister creation strike right yeah, the mobile it's, one it's yeah on that life symbol you know you remove foundation build another foundation you discard pile you get her trigger and obviously she is incentivized to have a wide variety of things so again triggering that spending momentum for the damage on canister creation um so i think that's 
that's going to be one of her best friends, just as a way of Eli's like getting that trigger, getting to you know get more more wall counters, while also itself just getting a, a boatload of damage from that momentum ability because you're you're sort of incentivized to do that anyway. The response to plus one minus one damage, obviously the drawing cards isn't going to necessarily always be the easiest thing to do in terms of like especially sort of during your opponent's turn like you don't always necessarily want to be drawing those cards on the opponent's turn i want to save them for yours to trigger that minus one damage but she's going to be able to do the the plus one on her turn a lot right um she, she's gonna get we saw about lady three just being able to go by minus one using her own ability is massively impactful and i think mm. she uses size specialist very well response add this card to your hand after you bottom of her foundation not named size specialist build it so you get to block yeah. build it down recycle the size specialist which means if you have novas down you're going to have it ready to go for next turn and gain a health in your opponent's turn she's, she feels like she's going to be a very firing of neurons deck right she's going to be a lot of moving parts manipulating your stage to get as many triggers as possible drawing a million cards I, I don't know how powerful she's going to be but i suspect she's probably going to be decent just because of just the amount of like cards she's going to be able to, to draw over the course of the game almost for free yeah. and sort of incentivize you playing with a wide varied stage with lots of different abilities so you you know you've got lots of different buttons you can press yeah for sure uh, right. for a common character this is the kind of power level i think exceeds common i was surprised this wouldn't be an uncommon it's very weird to now talk about characters in terms of like rarity but if i pick this up at draft i'm happy i could play this happily at locals without seeing her support and like what else is hmm. in the set i'm happy to get this in a sealed environment and go i'm not dying and i have access to a very unique ability which for limited play where you're able to use everything where you're not going to have duplicate foundations this is a very solid sealed pick in standard not as powerful but still very good abilities so like you know obviously she doesn't do a lot in terms of stats on her face right you know yeah she gets that response plus minus one it's going to be sometimes tricky to sort of manipulate that and, and trigger that when you want it but she certainly does draw a lot of cards and like the, the health gain off the building is not irrelevant obviously the time you're most going to be able to trigger her is earlier in the game but later on just being able to claw back like two three four points of life from from builds like she's going to want a lot of those things like canister creation where you know she's able to like recycle foundations or you know build one in or a lot of things like that i think is going to be sort of her wheelhouse of you know i don't have to sort of build through my turn i've just got a steady trickle of these things coming through because it, it may be a case of like you know you generate a lot of war counters early and then the they start to sort of run out the your triggers of that thing and i think that'd be the the key thing to sort of try and manage is getting that going oh yeah 100 well, um, and it's just gonna be really cool to see someone actually break this i know we know some people who absolutely love five handers do we get some extra cards which do work very well with historia first one we can safely say is part of her kit right we got queen historia which yeah. is an amazing action two cost five control two mid block enhance draw two cards enhance remove commit one rival foundation on order attuned yeah i think this is really cool yeah very much so you know just enhance draw two cards is it's fine obviously good in her because obviously it's draw two essentially gain two damage but obviously counting toward progressive is slightly awkward you know obviously you can do this during your opponent's turn a good way of her doing it during your opponent's turn is saying okay i'll draw two cards i'll minus two damage under attack i'm good or like you know god forbid there's a, an order character that has twisting as or something on those lines and like the enhanced move commit one of a nation i think one of those cards that i think probably was a uh, maybe a little underplayed for how good it actually was was engine trouble card i never really played and and one of my locals really loved and loved and just sort of jams in every deck and always oh, i find this just really annoying to play against you know drawing two cards is nice but but adding one to aggressive isn't amazing like obviously we've got that action um the Eren one right the the three diff one that, that draws two cards but also can add sneaky damage and stuff or sneaky stats on stuff yeah. um <clears throat> so as long as you've got sort of maybe ways of clearing it from your progressive i think it's going to be solid and i mean look i love the absolute art on this i love the fact that mm -hmm. we get references for queen historia i think this is an absolutely solid action that we'll see play in a lot of decks but it's like you said yeah. it adds two progressive defensively i think this is absolutely solid yeah i mean i say i, I think part of 
a big chunk of the value in this card is that modality, right? It's a two mid block, not horrid. You can draw two cards from it, or you've got that point and click committal. All of these three of these things are good and will be situational in various game points. They're going to come up at different situations. So the fact that you've got a card that helps you in all three of those, I think is really, really good. So yeah, I, I would not be surprised if this sees play. Maybe not like a four of, but you know, you can certainly see like maybe playing this as a two of in a deck. Going back to Crystal Lens and being played in there where you just minus four wall counters, add a card to the top of your deck, play this on a three, draw two cards. You've now got your perfect defense. You've now you've also got an extra card. Mm -hmm. I think this is really, really solid. And then we've got the foundation. Three diff, five control, two mid block. Historia's declaration. Enhance, flip, choose one card in any stage. If the chosen card has one or more wall counters, this attack gets plus two or minus two damage. Add two wall counters to the chosen card. And we've got some flavor text. I am Historia Rice, the true ruler of these walls. Historia Rice. Order tuned again. That is just for extra damage in this. All, all of the wall counter characters are going to love this card, yeah. right? Because they all have effectively kept cards on face. So you just pick yourself. As long as I've got a wall counter, I get to add two wall counters and give it plus or minus two damage. And then in her, it's obviously like the two wall counters means you can then draw another card, which means you could give it then an extra plus or minus one damage. Yeah. Obviously, you know, this is going to be really good with like if you've got any sort of unflip effects. I can't, you know, things like falling heel strike. I don't know if there's going to be characters where, you know, they share I mean, symbols there. Yeah, she sh don't, doesn't it share symbols with this uh, historia of life? I can never remember the symbols of things. Uh, yeah, Falling Hill Strikes on life. Yeah. And, uh, you know, the fact that she's got that life gain, maybe she can start doing midst of despair things, who knows? It feels like her initial, the way I'd look at it, would be a life character playing all to attuned stuff. But I'm sure there's, like, another way around to build her until, that's totally yeah, fine. see the rest of the kit, it's really hard to say. <laughs> it's going to be a solid build on either symbol. I think Arda has more draw potential a more damage output for Historia whereas life is going to be more around that keeping yourself alive gaining health playing mitts using your foundations to basically blow up and rebuild and just going yeah I'm never going to die this is going to be a very long game yeah I think she's going to be be viable for, for either of those options like yeah and I think obviously both of what you know both things that she is doing sort of plays into both of those things so she should be quite happy on I think on either of those, those symbols uh, there's one big thing we haven't talked about that is visible on these cards? Oh, well, no, I'd say there's two things, actually. I was oh. going to get to that, but I think there's two things worth mentioning. There's two things um, for you. I only, yeah. saw, I only saw one. Uh, the, the, so the first one, I'd say, is the set number, and in terms of the count of cards in the set. So obviously, that's something we, we didn't know how big the set was. We knew it wasn't going to be as big as the first set, but obviously, we can now see it's 186, uh, which is like a, a reasonable set size as, you know, a normal UBSO, you know, sort of the size of things like girl power and so forth. So I think that's totally reasonable um, sort of to be expected and the other one obviously is the symbols because obviously that was not confirmed I don't think at any point in terms of what symbols this, this set was going to have I think people even two camps of we're going to get the other six symbols which to me never really made sense or we're no. just going to be following these six symbols throughout all of Attack on Titan while I think from a, looking at it from a, a standard perspective right and, a, and an overall game balance I think it would be nice to have the other six in this set. When you look at it from a, I'm a new player and I've started just with Attack on Titan and my locals are just new, we're all playing Attack on Titan Spotlight, having this second set completely incompatible with the first set makes zero sense, right? Because obviously there's there's no characters in the first set that even have like, sim, you know, be able to tune symbol stuff from other, other symbols, right? So it, it would make zero sense for this set in that kind of, Attack on Titan world spotlight and that that style side of things for this to be the other six. No, no, um, exactly. Seeing the seeing the one hundred eighty six was a massive mm -hmm. relief because as good as Attack on Titan one was, it was just too big. Was it was it was a big set. Um, again, I understand the reason because they want to have this springboard point for new players, so they want to put as many options and make that kind of Attack on Titan meta spotlight meta as, as big as possible from the get-go so again it made it, you know, like it or not i understand the reasoning but we're getting off track here so this is the attack on titan origins of power well, mm -hmm. preview week and we've got historia race secret identity i absolutely love this card i will 100 percent be giving this a little test out probably not for nats but you know local championships not local qualifiers i do love a character that sort of sits there saying i'm never gonna die i love those annoying characters and i need to play more five handers i think 
this is an absolutely solid character. Yeah, cool. Like, you know, she she's certainly going to be a quite a lot of new ones character. Like she's going to draw a lot of cards. Um, and you know, there's there's few things in card games that are better than drawing cards, even from a perspective of power level and everything, but just the fun factor of just drawing cards is always the most satisfying feeling. And she just does this in spades. So yeah, I think she's gonna not help. Yeah, she's gonna be a I think she's gonna be a pretty a really fun character. Um and we'll just have to have to wait and see how how she does but yeah as always thanks to UBS Games for giving us the opportunity to sort of share this with you guys um, and also obviously go check out all the other content creators who are also um, being able to preview stuff to you guys and, and see what they're doing keep an eye on the universe's Facebook Twitter Instagram whatever, Discord basically they're going to be highlighting these reveals as well keep an eye on everyone's channels that about wraps it up so obviously anyone watching thank you very much for watching do all the usual algorithm things you know like comment subscribe all that stuff really helps the channel yep big shout out to UBS for last previous and let us know what you think of Hysteria Race let us know in the comments if you enjoyed this character if it's what you were expecting finally long live the queen indeed long live the queen